Good morning. Sunday, 3rd of March. Let's get it. Yo, good morning peeps. So I survived week one. Uh, when I started this challenge, and the challenge is flogging every day at 4 p.m. Uh, for 365 days, I was kind of scared to be honest with you guys because it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. But I already uh, survived week one. I'm so happy for that. So that's a small victory moment for me. Woo! By the way, if you enjoy the videos and you haven't hit subscribe, please take a second to hit subscribe because I want to build a big community. I want, yeah, it's crazy. I want to build into the hundred thousands of subscribers and to give value and everything. I will do a lot of stuff in the future. So just take your time and hit subscribe, please. Thank you very much. So today I want to talk with you guys about the entrepreneurial life. It's... It's a challenging life. I'm not going to make it more beautiful than uh, not eating well, not sleeping well, uh, not going to parties that often, uh, missing out on a lot of stuff, not going on holidays, or when you're on holidays, you're still thinking about work, or you take your work on holidays. Uh, the day that you have to depart uh, to the airport that you're still working till the last hour before your flight and then you take the flight you go to whatever let's say Spain and you're having your holiday and you're having fun and you're still working because you check your emails uh, you have to uh, solve some problems that people send you that, that, that is going on at the businesses and then you come back and is immediately that day you're working again or the day after you're working again you didn't even have time to process the holiday but don't get me wrong there are also a lot of uh, positive stuff like enjoying having passion for what you do building your own thing yeah there are a lot of positive things to it yeah sure as long as you know what for you're doing it and you're really enjoying it and you don't do it for the money if you do it for the money you will get a burnout you the man with the hammer like they say in dutch will be waiting for you around the corner and they will he will hit you so hard if you do it for the money trust me trust me that's why people along the way said someone watch out for burnout someone this and that blah 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 don't you worry man, I got this, I got this, I got him sonny, I take care of it. Who the hell are they? They take care of it man. A poppy the boopy, snoopy the floopy, they don't know who they're talking with. They're talking with me, you know, it's Tony, Tony Baloney. I'm okay because I enjoy almost every hour of the day that I'm working. Like, I lose some battles. I lose a lot of battles a day but if you look at the end of the day like what my net score of the day is every day is positive so even even by 0.1 it's positive i look at the net of my day and it's always positive even though i'm losing so many battles a day so it is really important to surround yourself with people that are like-minded like entrepreneurs or even not even per se entrepreneurs but like people that are like-minded that are on one frequency as you are uh, I call that wolf pack so create a wolf pack around you a wolf pack is a group of people with whom you surround yourself with and all noses point in the same direction for example financial freedom for example healthier lifestyle um, when you have that and uh, for example today I'm having a bad day I don't have a lot of energy uh, but I have my wolf pack so I'm with five six people and 
we call all day, we FaceTime or whatever all day and we give energy to each other. So today I don't feel that well and I'm calling with a friend of mine from the Wolfpack to see how he's doing or whatever and I tell him that today I have a I don't have that much energy and he's going to give me energy like to hey push on come on don't forget uh, the eyes on, keep the eyes on the prize don't forget your goal blah 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 and he will put you back on track and you will keep pushing forward so that's important to me so with Wolfpack in mind we created a group that is called Dead Poet Society uh, this is a group of friends with whom I'm friends with between 7 to 15 years. We are a select group of 5 people and once a month we meet at one's house. And the idea is basically to share poetry, emotions, challenges in life, business ideas. It's a group uh, of only at this moment gentlemen. So we make campfires, we cook together, uh, we smoke uh, cohiba together. Um, it's, it's great to have like a wolf pack with whom you can share honestly and open like the stuff you're going through and they would give you like a family they would give you honest uh, reactions and honest feedback on how they would like solve this problem or what they think of it or how they would tackle a certain problem or thing that you're having right now. So now and then we bring guests to the Dead Poets sessions. Uh, for example, last time there was someone that has a blockchain slash cryptocurrency slash let's say for people that don't know Bitcoin company uh, to the group and he was talking about how the, the evolution and the innovation right now on the cryptocurrencies and on the blockchain technology at this moment that people are still thinking that that's not going to rule the world that that's not going to be a part of the world sorry not rule the world um, the other time we had a guy uh, talking about his travels and that he's uh, traveling the world and want to write a book about it and everything. So it brings different dynamics to the, to the group. 